Welcome to Mother Daughter Projects. A few weeks ago, we shared with you how I removed the inserts in my garage door windows and added some magnet hardware to my door. Today, we're gonna add a decorative element back to the windows, but this time a little more modern. We're also gonna reveal the winning magnetic decorative hardware at the end. Let's get started. After removing the window inserts, we really liked the new look, but we noticed it brought in a lot more light into the garage, which brought in a lot more heat with it. Mom had the idea to use a frosted window spray to block out some of the heat and add a new decorative look. We tried out the idea on one window. Mom made a cross pattern on the window with painter's tape. Then we added some paper around the edges to protect the door from overspray. We used Rust-Oleum frosted glass spray to cover the window. After two coats, we let it dry and then we took off the tape. Our biggest question was if this effect would even show up very well since the front of the windows are tinted. After our test, we realized the effect was slight but noticeable, and we really liked it, so we moved on to the next windows. We wanted each window to have the same cross pattern, so we made a template of the first window. I held up the template on the outside of the window, and Mom added painter's tape to the other windows. We protected the door from overspray with scrap paper and painter's tape. Then mom sprayed one coat on all the windows. We both wore a mask and eye protection as this created a lot of fumes. The spray is for indoor use only, that's why we sprayed it on the inside of the garage door. We don't know how this is gonna hold up over the years, but we decided to give it a try. As soon as the spraying was done, we opened the garage to let the fumes out and use a fan to help. We put the door back down and did another coat, again opening the door right after. Once dry, we remove the paper and painter's tape. There was a noticeable difference in the light and heat coming in right after this. We we're so happy with the results and love the added decorative look. And if you watched our previous video, you saw that we had you vote on which set of decorative hardware you liked on the garage door. Well, the winner was A with 15 votes and B came in at 12. Thanks to all who voted. You can check out that first video here. And as always, please subscribe to us for more how-to videos.